next video, I play Minecraft in a world where I can uncraft anything in the game. From diamonds to golden apples to even notch apples. Anything can be uncrafted. What happens if I try uncrafting a totem of undying? Find out after subscribing to help me reach 3 million subscribers and let's attempt 49 likes on this video. Enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to this lovely, peaceful Minecraft world. Trees in the background. It's amazing. Other than the fact that there's a pillager outpost right in front of us with lots of pillagers ready to kill us. So we got to be very careful of that thing. But at the same time, I really want to raid it as well. So today, guys, we are playing in a world where we can craft things. Okay, so we're going to go make our craft. Oh, wait a second. Is that a... <gasps> I see a village in the backdrop. There's a village on that Taiga Hill. So we have a village and a pillager outpost. And of course, nothing changed. A lot of pillagers that want to kill me. So as I was saying, everything's normal. I will quickly do my wood mining session. And with this wood, we are going to do what we always do. We're going to make a crafting table. So this is what I would call your regular default Minecraft crafting table. Everyone knows what this is. You use it to craft things. Look, I'm crafting planks, now I'm crafting sticks, and now I'm crafting a wooden sword. But what if I told you that there was a way that we could uncraft things? <laughs> <clears throat> after I make my wooden pick. But yes, guys, today, essentially, if we get a bunch of crafting tables, eight to be specific, and we surround a compass with them. Okay, these pillagers really want me dead, but I do need to raid it because I want to see if there's any loot in there because a compass requires four iron and a redstone. So I don't know if you can find that in here, but I just want to make sure. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay, they're going to follow me in. So I have to have a getaway route. I hope there's like water right next to this place that I can just jump down to. And there's iron. Yes. Bye bye, pillagers. And off to the village we go because we need a lot of food. But basically, if I get two more iron now and a piece of redstone, I'm just going to quickly, oops, don't click that, make a bunch of wood. Wow, they're still right behind me. Yeah, basically, we're going to be crafting an uncrafting table. And this thing allows you to uncraft anything in the game. So let's say I have a gold block. Well, it will uncraft into a bunch of gold like normal, but there are custom custom uncrafts. So for every uncraft that we do, we might get something really powerful or we get a custom item. So basically for things that aren't usually uncrafted sometimes, maybe we could use some of those to try and get them. But it's kind of like a game of chance. Anything we uncraft, it has the ability or chance to come back with something really good. So let me go ahead. Hey, villagers, what are you guys up to? These are the nice guys. I just went, <laughs> how is there not like a war on these battlegrounds right here with a, oh, and a lot of emeralds. Beautiful. And another chest. Dude, this is one of those like really good villages where they have like, there's been a chest in like every single one of these houses. But I think that because there are so many chests, there's no hay bales. I don't see them anywhere. So the food will be a little bit more scarce this time around. And another chest. <gasps> what? Dude, what type of village is this? Does it tell me if I click F3 or something? No, it just says we're in a Minecraft tiger. We already got a bunch of obsidian. We can already uncraft a bunch of things and we are already have ironed up. And wait, there's another house. Does it have a... <gasps> oh, not as good, but like more food, luckily. But yeah, I think that's the trade-off. Jeez Louise, does this village ever end? Yes, it, it does. So make all the crafting tables now. I'll put them up the top of my inventory and we will do our regular of digging straight down. Now, guys, this is the featured comment of the video. Oh! <gasps> So lucky, I think I ticked off an enderman down there as well. I was just about to advertise the feature comment of the video. I'm going to start doing this in the videos now. So if you want to be featured here, leave a comment down below. This wouldn't have even been a video if I just died there. Holy smokes. And dude, right next to me, an amethyst geode? Are you kidding me? Oh, and that enderman's like still mad at me. Hey, buddy, if I get an ender pearl right here too, this is like one of the best starts I've ever had. <gasps> And you know what? I'm gonna grab a shard. Because what happens if you uncraft a shard? You know what I mean? Yeah, let's grab the rest of this iron. And now we just need a piece of redstone, which, well, it's found at lower levels. Hello, axolotl. I've, I've seen an axolotl as well. All right, I'm jumping down. Whee! And our life goal today is going to be 397 likes. Okay, so try and reach that, guys. Hit the like button right now. If not for me, do it for George the axolotl. 
Do you want them to leave a like? Uh, yeah, duh. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Oh, geez, Louise. See, George almost sent a creeper on me because you guys almost didn't leave a like. Okay, and then what? I haven't even made the uncrafting table yet. I've seen like every possible structure or thing you can see in the game so far. We have a spider spawner here. <laughs> Finally, redstone. Hello, zombie. You think you're gonna stop me from getting it? No, you're not, thank you. We only need one of these, so that's literally it. And now we can craft, and we have diamonds and gold. Mine these diamonds up right away, beautiful. But now it's time. So a compass, I don't remember the last time I ever crafted a compass, but you need one because boom, there it is. Of course, to reverse crafting and make it an uncrafting table, you gotta use a compass to reverse the direction. So now we go ahead and put a compass in the middle. We surround it with the remaining eight crafting tables and bam, look at it. We get the uncrafting table. <laughs> it literally is completely reversed. And inside it's, <gasps> it's an uncrafting table. So let's do some examples. If we put like a wood in here, it uncrafts to an oak log, because obviously an oak log. Oh my gosh, we have unlimited wood. And well, we already found an amethyst geode. So why don't we try to uncraft an amethyst shard? In three, two, one. Oh my goodness, what? And crystals up the wazoo, and what is that? An Amara axe. What does the Amara axe do though? <gasps> some zombies over here. <gasps> Oh, it fires some amethyst shards. Okay, so it just fires them, oh, literally all around me. So it like almost creates a shield. Very cool. They're not that powerful though. I think I have an amethyst shield around me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> it's a glow squid. Yo, yo, yo. I want to uncraft his glow ink sack. Did he drop one? Yes, give me that. Two glow ink sacks. Beautiful. All right, let's put this guy down. And the first thing we're going to do, I want to see what does a glow ink sack do. Ooh. Oh, very nice. It gives me basically a lot of diamonds. I'm gonna use these to craft things. I wanna see what does it do in the uncrafting table. In three, two, one. It gives you a diamond block. One diamond uncraft. Oh yeah, of course it does. Because one diamond block equals nine diamonds. Oh my gosh, yes. 43 diamonds. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. I think you can even use the craft, the uncrafting table to... <gasps> to craft things. Oh, baby, get rid of all this iron armor. We're gonna go in style now. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Now, what does a golden apple uncraft to? Whoa, okay. Get some gold ingots, we get some normal apples back, but what is that in the middle? A supercharged goldium block. Uh, what? Yo, what? That is not a normal gold block. Wait, can you uncraft this thing? <gasps> Whoa! What is that? Supercharged goldium helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots, and more of these blocks. Yo, is this like its own ore? So do we no longer need the diamond armor after I just got excited about it? Oh, <gasps> it gives us all the effects in the game. Oh my goodness, we're going so fast already. Oh my gosh. I just found a way to infinitely fly. Yo, this has an effect that like pushes me in the air. So I could just keep clicking G and it will just keep pushing me and I just found an underwater nether portal. Another golden apple? What? I just was about to say that it was worth like giving up the golden apple. I got it back. Okay, we need to do some more on crafting. Does cobble on craft into anything? No, that has nothing because it doesn't really get crafted into anything. Does coal? Coal makes a coal block. Does a block coal? <gasps> Obsidian, stone sword, vein of arthropods, efficiency. Silk touch level 13, blacksmith's chest? Okay, I'll take those. Does that stack? It does. Okay, I'll grab the obsidian too. Do I take the stone stuff though? Oh my goodness, I forgot how fast I am with this thing. Okay, so these armors are really cool sometimes. I'm not about it though. I just want to be able to move normally. So let's see what's inside these blacksmith chests, obviously. In three, two, one. Oh, yo, okay, well, if I didn't already have like an amazing armor, wait a second, I just told everyone I didn't like having it on all the time. Now I have very good backup armor. Holy smokes, that's got all <gasps> protection level 20. This might even be better than the custom armor I just had on, to be honest. Okay, so there was leggings and a chest plate. 
and then we have the boots protection 22 and the helmet in this chest protection 19 that is a perfect set of armor we're gonna take care of these guys don't worry but hey what's wrong with a little default armor every once in a while and hey, we're pretty protected too i mean hold on how protected are we let's put it to the test Ooh, baby! <laughs> Oh, it only took away one heart. Okay, I want to save these though. I want to save these for the Ender Dragon. That is literally like a bed, pretty much. And let's not forget the uh, really overpowered sword as well. So we'll replace our thing with that. Okay, so we're looking pretty, man. That was a really good uncraft. Hey, little chickens. Goodbye. Give me that feather and chicken. What is that going to give me the uncrafting table? Bam. <gasps> It actually does give me a lot. It gives me more feathers. It gives me raw chicken and it gives me an angelite block. Whoa. Okay. If we uncraft that, we get another set of armor and I look really sick with it on. And there it is. Fly mode. Of course it offers that. So if I want to fly, I just got to wear this and I could probably get around the world really quickly does it have that speed it has a little bit but not too bad i might actually rep this for now wait i really want to see something though if i put gold in here oh no you can't dupe no i wanted to do gold so bad what if we put our ender pearl in here what the heck we get a bunch of enderman spawn eggs and we get the enderite eye. Well, look how big this thing is. Holy smokes, that's huge. <laughs> Reminds me of our giant items video, but wow. Let me spawn these guys up. Hey, Enderman, you might not know who I am and you might not like me, but uh, hopefully, what? I forgot I had like the crazy sharpness and does it also, it has looting on it too? <gasps> so I just got all the ender pearls I could ever need. Okay, perfect. If I was speed running right now, I could probably just go to the end like right away. We do need blaze rod still, but I don't know what this enderite eye does. All right, now let's get into the blocks. What will a lapis block give me? Or better yet, what does a lapis just lapis give me? I haven't even toyed with this yet. Put our magical uncrafting table down. We'll uncraft it and it gives us just a lapis block, which is perfect because then I want to uncraft that. And oh my goodness, overpowered diamond swords with everything on them. Sharpness level 25. Yes, please. I'll replace my main sword with that. And in the middle, we have a magician staff. Now you're a wizard, Grazer. How do I use this correctly? How do I make sure that I put away all bad and... Whoa! Okay. Alrighty, so what will a redstone block give me? I only need one of each, so I'm crafted into the block and then put the block and then the one by the TNT redstone. Okay, we'll take that and we have a redstone chest. We'll put this guy down and it will, we'll get rid of this cobble and inside in three, two, one. What on earth is that thing? A lot of redstone all over the place. I don't care about that. We have a doomsday ray. Oh, yo, blocks might be the move. This looks like a machine gun in my hand. And so it is. Oh my gosh, it fires bullets and launches TNT everywhere. Okay. <gasps> I just used the other ability and just heard a huge mass explosion. I think it spawns TNT above where I'm currently sitting. Was I correct in my assessment? What? This was on top of where I just was in the cave. There's no explosions here, but there is a lot of goodies. I was gonna say we should do it on the outpost, but this is a whole different village. So I'm sorry, villagers. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's such a sick bullet, but... Oh, it does rain! d and is gonna destroy the whole village! I'm sorry! Oh my gosh! But it did not blow up into any cool OP items. That golem hates me, by the way. Wait, so was it the magic staff? It was. And we just got blaze rods from that. So the magic staff or the uh, magician staff, when I right click, it drops OP items from the sky. Oh my goodness, guys. I just figured out what those explosions were down in the cave where I got the elytra. Look at this. If I click G, I lay eggs and these eggs, they fall to the ground and they explode and they deliver a lot of OP, I <laughs> a lot of OP items and we just got a notch apple. This is exactly why I was wondering if we could do gold because now I can go ahead and uncraft this thing and see what it does. Whoa! 
Oh, okay. I was not let down. I don't even know what half this craft is. We have a lot of golden apples. We have enchanterite blocks. Okay, so that's another whole thing we're going to have to go ahead and uncraft. We also have a solar blade. What does this do? Whoa! Oh, okay. And... Okay, so it creates a bunch of craters all the way to bedrock that I can't fall into or I likely will lose a lot of health or die. <gasps> I can launch the sun? Yo, this is the sickest thing I've ever seen! Give me more sun! Wow! Sun, I'm gonna kill the ender dragon with your energy. I'm gonna give you your own sun as well. Enjoy! Then we also got the enchanterite block. Wait, is this gonna be... <gasps> a new armor set we can finally change not that it's been that long but we have too many armors now okay let me throw these on the ground real quick i think the angel light will still be my method of choice just because it has the fly looks like this comes with enchanted book and trails of blocks which is perfect whoa my goodness what did i just do what did i just do okay it strikes lightning everywhere not bad i do oh it doesn't only strike lightning it drops enchantment tables enchantment books all over the place but let me take a part of this off because i do want to extract the diamond block i want to see what i can uncraft this with as well so give that to me we'll put it in the uncrafting table and of course it's a diamond block so we're gonna get some good juicy stuff lots of diamonds and a radium block and a radium block creates a new set of armor we are just going through everything right now so what does radium do i'm just gonna drop the supercharged golem because i think i want the angelite over that that was a cool armor while it lasted Get rid of the Enchanterite Radium. Yo, what does this do? It has a green particle and it drops diamonds wherever I go. And <gasps> it radiates the entire world. So I can kill anyone without a hesitation. I wonder if this would work on the Ender Dragon. Maybe not. He tends to, you know, get past a lot of my expertise. What happens if you uncraft a piece of obsidian? Did we do that yet? <gasps> Dude, I keep like flabbergasted. Cosmic bow. So now we have a main weapon bow. We don't have any arrows though. That's the problem. And we got a lot more obsidian back. So obsidian, we had that the entire time and we just didn't even use it at all. I wish I could see what the cosmic bow does. Ooh, okay. I didn't even try an emerald block yet. You guys are probably all screaming at me to do that. Uh, to do an emerald block. A miner's loot box. Let's see what these are good. <gasps> Netherite. Yes! I was just contemplating how we were gonna get netherite. I mean, we do have some, like, things that can drop OP items. And now we can use the uncrafting table, uncraft this, make a netherite block, and... <gasps> We get a netherite box. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And of course, it just has a bunch of good netherite stuff. But I'd be silly if I didn't uncraft an eye. Oh, an eye avenger. Dragon's Rage Blade. <gasps> uh, I'm sorry to anyone who was... That's a dragon's breath bullet. Oh my goodness. And I can have a dragon's breath shield around me. What if I use this against the dragon? What if it's dragon versus dragon? Oh my gosh, yes! Ooh, pretty flowers everywhere. So before we actually go to the end, guys, there's one more thing that I want to see in this game, what it does when it uncrafts. Of course, I'm talking about the Totem of Undying, but you can't get a Totem of Undying unless you find a woodland mansion, and there's no way I'm going to find one of those. So I'm going to bank on my mag magician staff to just... Oh, and there's the destroyed village I destroyed earlier to just, like, drop it from the sky. So here we go. I'm spamming it all over the place. Dude, it's gotta be in here. And there it is. I found it. So let's put this in, see what it does. And, of course, it gives us a bunch of notch apples since we already got rid of the, uh, well, the ones that we already had before we <laughs> uncrafted it. Gotta write block this. Oh, my goodness. That is the sickest armor I've ever seen. I look like a freaking king. <laughs> I have permanent fly. I have a golden shield around me. And it does the lightning stuff. Very cool. And it has its own bullet. Whoa, whoa, did that just bounce? Did that just bounce? Where did that bullet just go? It's going through the entire mountain. And it dropped, obviously, loot everywhere. Because this might be the easiest ender dragon battle I have yet. But let's see what the ender eye does. Whoa, I'm riding it. I'm riding the ender eye. And it delivered us right as soon as we got here. It dropped us off. So if I am to trust the Enderite Eye, the stronghold should be right here. And it was! Oh my gosh, I almost just died there. I forgot I took off a piece of the Goderite armor. Oh, and I just literally found the end room. So let's get rid of this silverfish box. <gasps> Yo, 
What? I think I just fired the Goderite bullet and it went all the way up to the surface. Look at that, that's the end portal. All right, the cosmic bow is only gonna have like one shot. So I hope it makes it count. Dude, I keep forgetting I have that bullet and I forgot I can fly. Okay, so what does the cosmic bow do? Wait, what was that? Oh my gosh, it rains arrows down from the heavens. Does that take up an arrow? It doesn't. Wait, can I just do that everywhere and it'll destroy all the crystals. It'll destroy all the end crystals. No problem. Oh my gosh, it's lagging my computer. Look at how many there are on the ground. So, oh, I shot the god's bullet, but didn't do anything. What if I use my TNT gun? Oh yeah, the TNT bullet's just uh, toying him around. Oh my gosh, he's way up there. Look how much health he has left. Okay, but I'm gonna kill him in the natural way. All right, have a taste of your own medicine, Ender Dragon. <gasps> Oh, he accidentally fired the god bullet. No, I wanted to at least use the uh, the dragon's rage blade against some bloods. Okay, I'm firing him at him while he's dead. But that's how you complete the game when you can reverse crafts and let me make it into this portal. 